Hey, you know who came in here the other day? Tommy Spawn. Him and Michelle Itzu broke up. No shit. I thought they were gonna get married. Five years they dated. Why'd they break up? You met someone new. There you go. Robbie, right? Yeah. Apparently, he met some girl where he works. Dumped Michelle to be with her. Hey, thanks for the quarter. Sure, I guess. We well, seized this chick for a few weeks. Finally, decides to break the news to Michelle. Now, remember, they've been going out since they wait, were. Wait, 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 how do you do? He just told her. He drove to a house, knocked on a door, and told her, I'm seeing someone else. Oh, Jesus. She goes nuts. Right in front of everybody, the mother, the neighbors, fucking brutal. Damn. After a while, Tom's thinking to himself, I don't need that shit, right? He gets in his car. He's about to pull away. Michelle comes running over to the car, grabs onto the window, says one last time, I love you! <laughs> now listen to this cold ass shit. Tommy lowers down the window. Yeah. He looks her right in the eyes. And he says, what can I say, Michelle? Love stinks. And he drives away. <laughs> Are we... It's wow. bad, man. But it's not over. All's cool with the new chick. Job's good. Right. Everything's great. But Michelle spends the next week mourning his ass. She can't believe five years of her life with this guy all down the drain. I mean, this girl's upset. Yeah. Pain, however, turns to anger, and anger turns to revenge. Now, check this out. Tommy gave her a puppy for Christmas about, I don't know, three years ago, right? Wait, what kind of puppy? What the fuck does it matter what kind of puppy? I don't know, a Dalmatian terrier, whatever. Well, it helps me visualize the story, you know, when I know details of the puppy. All right, all I know is that this thing's the size of a friggin' horse now. It's like a King Kong of fucking dogs, right? One day, she feeds this thing about 10 times the usual amount of dog food. <laughs> the next day, she walks it, it lays a titanic shit all over the side. Oh, no. She brings a container with her. She scoops it up, she seals it, and she heads home. That's nasty. Now, that night, she sneaks into the spawn house, yeah. empties the container into the microwave, sets the thing for about six hours, she pushes starts, and she leaves. Jeez. Yeah. Now, a few hours go by. It's about 5 o'clock in the morning. Tommy's father wakes up. The guy almost has a fucking heart attack. The smell is unbelievable. Uh, the sisters are screaming. The mother's crying. The dogs are barking. Everybody's going nuts before you know it. The whole entire Spawn family's out on the front lawn, gasping for breath. Unbelievable. Oh, wait, you think this is funny, right? Oh, it's a little funny. Yeah. <laughs> it gets serious. <laughs> it turns out they can't get the smell out of the house. It's fused into the paint in the walls, the rugs, their clothes, even their pets. It's in there forever. They have cleaners coming, experts to say, there's nothing we can do about it, sorry. Now the neighbors are starting to complain because the whole block is smelling like dog shit. Oh, oh, man. They try to sell it, but they can't sell a house smelling like that. Nobody wants to buy it. They actually have to have this house knocked to the ground. No. Oh, bullshit. that is crap. Bullshit. bullshit. Destroyed. Bullshit. I swear on my mother. On. Destroyed. On. All right? Now the spawns are in all kinds Come of debt. <laughs> Insurance won't cover such a thing. They end up living in a trailer. For well, four months in the driveway. Four months? Tommy's ready to kill himself. He's living in a trailer. His house is gone. All he ever owns smells like dog shit forever. And most of his paycheck for the next 20 years <whistles> goes directly back to his family to rebuild a new house. Now, now, he knows that Michelle's the one that did this to him, right? Of course he does. But he can't prove it. Tommy didn't have an enemy in the world. He wronged one person his whole entire life. Michelle. Five years they dated. Anyway, the stupid fuck he goes to see her one more time. He drives to a house. He's sad, he's miserable, looks like hell. Knocks on the door, she comes out. The guy starts to cry. I don't wanna hear anything. Oh. His family went through hell, all cause he dumped Michelle. He's standing there, alligator tears, pouring down his face, he's saying, Michelle, after all we've been through together, Five years of our lives. How could you do this to me? I thought you said you loved me. She looks him up and down. She says, I guess you were right, Tommy. Love stinks. <laughs> Get 
Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. Come on. Get out of here. Come on. That's just so fucking God. You know, the funny thing is, she called me. She wants to hang out with me. Like, I need dog shit in my fucking house. You are so filthy. I swear. Shit. You got an extra one? Hey, where's the camper? My parents took it up to the Finger Lakes. Are you kidding? That thing hasn't friggin' moved since they bought it. Well, I guess they figured it was time. When are you coming back? Sunday. What's today? Wednesday. Nice. So, your hairline. Bad. Two slices, pizza boy. I'm not kidding. Your front's getting all wavy there. I'm waving goodbye. It does look a little bit wavy. I noticed that before. Hey, shut up, Howard. So Steve quit his job today. You dick. What? What? Three months of that shit. Hi, this is Steve Tell Global. We're selling Clinton. I don't need that. I can't do entry level. You gotta start somewhere, Steve. I mean... Yeah, whatever. Is uh, Sal here? Nah. Hey, how's he doing? He's poor and pissed, as always. He's fine. He's got a lot to worry about. Yeah, whatever. So what's going on? Nothing. Hey, 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 hey. So, Howard, did you hear? Hmm. Well, the loan officers haven't made their final decisions yet, but at this point, it's about 75%. Hey, hey. hey don't jinx me, OK? And don't do that neck thing. Shut up. Hey, Dennis's parents are out of town until Sunday. You guys want to play cards tonight? School me. Mm, I mean. Phil, you get the beers, OK? You get the beers, you cheap fuck. Cheap? Moi? I'm unemployed, man. And what are you going to use the bet with tonight, Steve? Don't worry about me. I saved my money. Oh, Jesus. Hello, pizza boys. How about a slice? All right, come on. Let's go. Out. I'll touch the pizza. See, he touches the pizza. touch the pizza. And he doesn't have to pay for it. I'll touch the pizza. Get out of here, Dennis. Don't let him touch the pizza. Get out of here. Get out. I mean, he's genius. I mean, this guy's brilliant. Make sure you lock the back door, Dan. I'll pay for the pizza. Oh, no, 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 Mr. P, don't worry about it. Uh, Dennis, you would have made a fine first mate. But it's good you weren't on that voyage, I must tell you. No, Mr. P, I, I no, can't. No, I must tell you. It was my ship. Beautiful schooner. Wood was hard, brass polished, cheer was heard as we dropped south, as far south as we could go, after many days and nights. Mmm, <laughs> good slice, Dennis. Yeah. We were hit by a terrible storm, pushed us way off course. We did everything we could to maintain it, but we get pushed all the way to the South Pole. We weren't prepared for cold like that. Once the wind died, we were dead. If it wasn't for that bird, round and around us it flew. It was beautiful. The wind picked up, but we didn't know our bearings, so we just followed that bird right out of the South Pole. We were saved all because of that bird. And then, all of a sudden, that bird came to rest on the ship's bow. Just sat there, quietly. And I raised my... I 
raised. You okay, Mr. P? Yeah. I gotta get back inside. You can tell me the rest again later. Go deep, baby! Oh! Touchdown! Come on, Phil, look at this place. If you feed him, he's only gonna come back, you moron. Oh, oh shit, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here we go, folks. He's throwing a cookie. He's already walked four men. Pressure's on. Turbo, baby. Oh! Dennis Nolan, what are you doing? How you been? Mr. Dupuis. Look at you, huh? You gained some weight. So you got a summer job here, huh? Job in the summer, sort of. <laughs> it's not permanent. <laughs> what do you have, like a year of school left? Mm, I graduated. You graduated? That's great, huh? How's your mom and dad doing? Still at home? For the time being. It's all kind of temporary. I, I know. I, I never worried about you, Dennis. I always knew you'd make the right choice, huh? It's like a first-time job thing, you know? <laughs> first job. Hey, everyone always thinks their first job is the worst. It's like that for everyone, huh? Me, I worked on a convalescent hospital. Changing bedpans, cleaning toilets. <laughs> hey, it got me through college. Anyway. Hey, I called in for a sub. I gotta get back to the hospital. Phil, he's the sub. Oh, yeah, super sub, right? <laughs> Phil Fasuli, I thought that was you. Zulo. Yeah, yeah. What's wrong with you? How you been? Pretty good. 450. Hey, Phil, you take care, huh? Hey, Dennis. Yeah. You take care of yourself. I'll say your mom and dad. Yeah. Maybe I'll come by and see your class. Hey, Phil, get a haircut, huh? <laughs> something. What do you want? Uh, I ordered a large cheese, light on the cheese. Do we have a large pie for Friedman? Wait, how did you know my name? What? How did you know I was Friedman? Uh, you said it. You said large cheese Friedman. I heard it distinctly. Wow. <laughs> I don't even remember that. I must have been having like that deja vu stuff. Yeah, you must have. Wait, wait a minute. Who are you? Do I know you? No. No, uh... No, no, I think I know you. You gotta stand back from the counter. It's a, a fire hazard. Stay clear of the counter. Do we go to dance class together? No, you want your pizza or what? Jeez, you don't have to get snappy. I've had a tough day, too, you know. It's uh, nine bucks even. You are so rude. Nine bucks. I've only got ten. Uh, yeah, ten bucks. That's what I said. Even. Large cheese. Fine. Thank you, Mr. Bubbly. Nice. So are you gonna start dating her again? Shut the fuck up. I hooked up with her once, she won't let it go. Wait till she finds out you work here. She'll be in here every day. She won't find out. We can't keep hitting the deck every time a girl you know comes in. But we have to. No. People are gonna find out we work here. I know. 
but I don't want to kill my rap. All right, that's the problem with you, Dennis. You got no rap whatsoever. I got sick rap, baby. You got sick rap. Phil, how hard is it to have sick rap if you make the whole thing up? You can't just make the whole thing up. It's got to be cohesive, all right? It's got to jive. Like, uh, you couldn't be a stock car driver and have an Italian name. You have to be some kind of hip name, like, uh, Billy Joe Dare. Or you, you couldn't have a winery and have it be in Manhattan. Where would your fucking grapes grow? It's a town, like anything else. It's gotta be sensible and creative at the same time. Sensible. How can I be of assistance to you? One second, please. Hmm. I'll have a slice of cheese and iced tea. Is that the stay or the go? To go. You sure you don't want to stay? <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. Okay. That's a dollar fifty. But for you, one dollar. Thank you. No, no. Thank you. Just happened. I just had to wash my hands. Mario! Three. Beth, how many? One, please. Hey, yeah, uh, Beth, why don't you call some chicks, huh? Dennis. Oh, well, one. Like, who? Anybody. Five years been with you, and we never hooked up with any of your friends. Five years you haven't hooked up with anybody. Oh, thank you very much. Appreciate that. Wow. Third time. Man. If you want to take a bathroom break, well, I'll wait. John, shut up. Go, 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 yes, Shabon! That's what I'm talking about right there. That's bullshit. What? I tackled you. Four guys tackle you. He doesn't go down. He's strong. Strong? Come on. Four guys. Four guys? It's possible. It's fixed is what it is. It's fixed. Yeah, fixed. It knows who's going to win before you even press start. Yeah, you think so? Well, either the game is fixed or somehow in the middle of the game, Superman put on a fucking uniform and joined your team. Maybe. So who do you want me to call, Steve? What? Who do you like? I don't like anyone in particular. I'm just saying it'd be nice to have chicks around for once. He likes Amy. Oh, yeah? Amy's nice. I never said I liked her. He did. I bet. Okay, 75. When did I say that? Say what? <laughs> that I like Amy. Oh, God, what's the big deal? So you like Amy. It's not a big deal. So admit you like her. No. <sighs> Dennis, come on, wake up, Ben. Why? Why don't I like her? You do like her. That's it. Show him. If you could have Superman on your team, where would you put him? You're trying to distract me because... You could have Superman on your squad, and you could only put him on one side of the ball. Would it be offense or defense? Put him on offense. I'd have him run every play, score every time. Yes! <laughs> this is great. <laughs> Shovel! See, that's what I don't get about you guys. You complain that you don't have girlfriends, but then you won't do anything about it. Because I don't know if I like her. Yeah, but... How do you expect to find out if you won't at least try to meet her? How am I supposed to do that? <laughs> Call her, you know, go out with her, talk to her, something. If I call her, obviously I like her. Steve, <sighs> you gotta be a man. You gotta be your own man, so just call her. No. Call you, pussy. John. What? Come on. Sorry, I'm talking to her. But I'm not sure if I do. Well. She's not gonna just show up at the door out of nowhere, you know? Forget it. Don't call her then. 
<clears throat> uh, Phil, are you pick your play or what? So neat. You know something? Offense is not the answer. What? Well, you, you could still tie or lose with Superman on offense. How's that? Well, conceivably, the other team, they can score every time, too, and time would run out with them ahead, and you'd lose. That's unrealistic. Yeah, but it's possible. Now, Superman is much better off on defense. He can intercept, he scores. Now, you ensure a victory. I changed my answer. Defense. Definitely defense. Give me two. Yep. So you're not gonna call? You want me to call? I'll call. Just call yourself. No, because then it would be like she's here for me. Right, and she would be. Steve, you either think she's the one or you don't. I mean, you're sitting here talking about it, and, and you're thinking you're having a hard time making a decision. But by sitting here doing nothing, that's doing something. It's always something. Yeah, whatever. No, see, th that's exactly what I mean. I mean, how do you expect a girl to come over here and hang out if you if you deny the fact that you want her to? I don't deny that fact. I just don't want to commit myself to anything right now. <laughs> if you call her to come over here for me, and she does, then I need to commit to being on, and I don't know if I can handle that pressure right now. Well, you know, some girl's not going to just come over here and hang out in a house full of five guys if she doesn't feel somewhat wanted. Bet, Steve. Well, I'd hang out with five girls in an empty house. <laughs> right. You wouldn't even make it through the front door, OK? And why's that? Because you're so shy. Are you in, Steve? Yeah, I'm in. Shy. Fuck that caller, then. Fine. Unbelievable. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Wait a minute here. If I put Superman in on defense, he can still tie. How? Well, see, the other team can't score, right? So it concentrates fully on its own defense. They shut out Superman's team, and you, you get a 0-0 zero, zero tie. Big move, Stevie. Hi, is Amy there? <laughs> uh, no, that's okay. Um, can you just tell her that Beth called? Yeah, I'll call her back later. Okay, thanks. Bye. Not home? Working. Beautiful. Can we play now? She'll be back later. We'll call her then. Forget it. Forget it. What's wrong now? She wasn't home. It's a sign. It wasn't supposed to happen. <sighs> So that's it, huh? Uh, with, uh, you know, you gotta read the signs. With me and Amy, it just wasn't meant to be. Signs have told me so. Signs. Let me tell you something, okay? What you think is a sign might be a test. Your sign theory, it's cop out. Don't give up so soon. Test for what? You know, are we playing? You never know what's meant to be, and you don't want to let it pass you by, because, uh... Because it might have been your only shot. Then, then where you going? Then, come on. I would do anything to get you back inside of me. I was insane. I thought I didn't love you. I was wrong, and I don't understand this pain. Put you through. Special teams. Special teams? Special teams. Right in front of my face, the whole special teams. Soup could kick the ball, then he could run down to the other end of the field, he could catch it, he could score, he could do that all day, the other team would never even touch the ball. All right, can we play now? Jesus. Special teams. Special teams, it's, it's the answer. All right, you're right, you're right. Come on. Yo, man, let's play. Yeah, that's the biggest football shit. This game sucks. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Steve. Oh, funky shit there, and I just do something there. In the, uh... Wait, I'm not even close no, here. Not, no. Wait. Steve, just clean the room? <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> 
No, you know what? We're good. We're play good. the one we were playing yesterday. The new, new one? Yeah. Come on. Uh, oh, all right, man. Wanna hear a song? Here it goes. In the kitchen cabinet, we got cookies. We got Oreos. How about me? We got everything. How about milk? We got that too in the refrigerator. But in the kitchen cabinet on the left side, we got cookies and cake and Twinkies and shit like that. No, do the chorus. Oh, I love you, my fine, chubby, cookie-looking friend. Oh, I miss you, my friend. Everybody, come back to me, my fine, chubby, cookie-looking friend. Come back to me, my friend. Yeah. What are you doing later on? I'm babysitting, you know that. You're babysitting? Yeah. When did you become a mommy? Somebody's got to make some money. What oh. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> make some money. Dan, you want a cup of Kino? No, please. Oh. Freak, does this thing work? You want? <laughs> you look crazy like that, man. <laughs> can you make me one? You get time Dad, I'm talking. Can you make me one? What time you get Good thing. You ever feel like something in your life? Something if you if you didn't do that one thing, it would have changed your life forever. What are you talking about? I believe you have a destiny. Like you were meant to be something, but you could have changed that destiny by by making certain choices. You're all over the road here, man. Destiny meant to be something. No one decision can be that important. Hi, I'm Phil. I work in a pizzeria. I don't know. Maybe that could be my destiny. No, oh, but like you missed your destiny. You missed that one thing. That's why you're here serving pizza. Look, Dan, you're a good pitcher, right? The best as far as I'm Phil, concerned. I'm talking about something much more important. <laughs> what could be more important in sports, huh? Yo, Phil, Dad, I'm going back to work. All right, lady, right, take care. Lady, Beth. Hey, guys. All right, guys. All right, lady. All right. I don't know. Maybe I'm with you on this destiny thing, OK? Sixth grade, I had this mint new Adidas soccer ball. It's beautiful. No, no, it was a fucking boy. Brand new fucking boy ball, right? I'm on the bus. It's a beautiful day. I held that ball tight underneath my arm. I loved that fucking thing. I was so cool. It was the coolest thing on the face of the earth with that ball, right? I don't know, something distracted me. It was a voluptuous seventh grader. I was trying to get a look down her shirt. I missed the last step of the bus, dropped the ball, pop, right underneath the bus. So your life changed drastically over a soccer ball? Yeah. Yeah, if I wouldn't have dropped that ball, I would have practiced with that beautiful thing every single day. I, I could have been the next Pele. Why isn't anything ever important to you? I just said, my soccer ball. <laughs> That's the last time I opened up to you, Dad. All I wanted was a cappuccino, Jesus.
Thank you for driving me home. I really appreciate it. No problem. I can't believe we just met. Feels like I've known you for so long, Dennis Nolan. Oh, well. Oh, God, that sounded really creepy, didn't it? No. I hope you don't think I'm some kind of freak for saying that. It's just, I start talking no, and I don't no, even no, feel it. It's all right, it's all right. I feel the same way. I hope we're not jinxing it by talking about it. I don't know, just... It feels really good to be able to feel comfortable around someone, you know? Yeah. I can't wait for Saturday night. I know this is gonna be good. I... This guy. We work here. No way. <laughs> no way. Dennis and Phil, Phil and Dennis, like two peas in a pod. Wow, that's that's cool. That's like really cool that you guys work here. So, are you done with school? No. Yeah, Dad. No, no. Well, I, I just finished Long Island Community, and I'm gonna be going to the Fashion Institute in the fall. Ah! I mean, can you believe it? Me, Deb Friedman, a fashion designer. I've always been into dressing. You know, I did win best dress in seventh grade. <laughs> Look at your outfit today. Yeah, I have the best internship this summer. I'm gonna be working with Calvin in Manhattan. Daddy knows Calvin from the Hamptons. I'm gonna be helping him with this new fall sweater line. <laughs> oh, I completely have to go. Just needed a diet. Bill, call me, okay? We'll get together this weekend, you know, go to a dinner or something. Oh, you're the best. Mm. I am definitely gonna come here all the time. I'm gonna tell everyone to come to Sal's place because of you guys. Call me, Phil. Hey. Mm, behave. <laughs> okay. Don't say a fucking word. Second of all, fuck cards, bro. Let's go somewhere. Where are we gonna go? I don't know. Go to a bar, pick up some chicks, maybe. Bring them back to your house, huh? I don't think so. Bro, what's wrong with you lately? You never hit the going out. You gotta decide you're gonna have a good time before you go out, and you'll have it. All right, I'll go, okay? I'll go. Look, I don't wanna go out with the human volume, all right? Promise me you're into it. I'm into it. What's up? Are you done yet? Yep. Doing a good job on those tables, Phil? Huh? You jamoke? Spotless, Sal. Good. How do we do? Pretty good. We'll fill out the books. All right, yeah, but just hurry up, okay? I gotta go. Fucking brother-in-law is waiting for me. Wants me to go out with him. And I used to be friends with the guy, you know? But now he's fucking my sister. You know, how can I go out and have a drink with a guy who's fucking my sister? 
You know, every time I go out with them, you know, I'm looking at them, we're laughing, but in my mind, I'm thinking, you're fucking my sister, you know? My sister, my own fucking sister, you know? And he's laughing, and he's having a good time, and she loves him. Don't get me wrong, she loves the shit out of him. He's a great fucking guy. But now, all I can do is sit there and watch him handle her, you know, a touch here, a kiss there, groveling, you know? It's the kind of thing you say for a hotel room, for Christ's sake. You don't do that in front of your brother. What kind of shit is that? You know? Oh, my God. And then, you know, it's like he's just a fucking animal, the kid. He doesn't realize he's doing it. I just want to jump over the fucking table and grab him and smash his fucking head on the counter over and over again. God, sucker. Can you believe that? Would you do that? What? Bang your sister? No, you moron. Have a drink with a guy who bangs your sister. I don't have a sister. What are you, wise ass? No. Well, trust me, if you had a sister, you wouldn't do it. It's not fucking natural. Oh, man. I'll pay for the pizza. Get the fuck out of here. I'll pay for the pizza. Phil, get this fucking freak out of my place, please. I'll what do you want me to do? Pizza. I'm not touching him. I'll touch the pizza. You get your fucked up shit out of here. I'll touch the pizza. Mr. Ah! Mr. B, there'll be no touching of the pizza. No, no. And stay the fuck out of my place! Yeah, you told him, Sal. Stay out, you bum! Can we get him locked up somehow? I don't know. Why don't you give him a job, Sal? Yeah, right. That'd be good for the customers. Mr. P, you gotta pick the times. You can't come around when Sal's here. If you need food, you just gotta come with me and fill it here, okay? Yeah. Oh, no, Miss, Mr. P, I can't. You must, Dennis. It's me penance, matey. You were at the point where the Albatross landed on the boat. You're a good listener, Dennis. The Albatross was magnificent. He showed us the way out. Now, he allowed us to view it in full glory by coming to rest on the ship's bow. I raised my... You okay, Mr. P? I raised my crossbow. And I shot that bird right through the heart. Why? Mr. P, I, I can never understand why you killed the bird. The crew couldn't understand it either. And when the wind died and the sun scorched, they cursed me for killing that bird. And they hung the albatross around my neck. The sun blazed down, one by one they fell. There's nothing more horrible than the curse in a dead man's eye. And when the last was dead, and I was alone on the desolate ocean, and all around me in that rotting sea, a thousand slimy things lived on, and so did I. For seven days and seven nights, I watched those vile creatures of the deep swimming in the shadow of the ship. But then, and I don't know why, they suddenly seemed beautiful to me. Happy, living things. My heart was filled with love for man and bird and beast and the albatross fell from my neck and sank into the sea. So this really happened? Dan, what the hell are you doing? I'm waiting for you. Mr. B was just telling me his story. Maybe you should tell... <laughs> he you was better right. stop hanging out with that freak. You're starting to lose it. Come on. Oh, 
That's terrible. He's a mess. Look at him. He's going first to third. He's doing a little kung fu. He doesn't know what he's doing. I should go kick that guy's ass. Yeah, I'll hold you back. We're going to do a round. Wish me luck, baby. Shaboom! Shaboom! Where you going? What? I'm making a round two. So <laughs> me, you not. Hey. Like, who does that guy think he's fooling? Like, he looks fine. I mean, at that point, you just go with the shave. Pork chop. It's a herb. I feel bad for the guy. I don't feel bad for him. He looks like a moron. You don't look like you're having much fun. I'm not. Why? I'm bored. Oh. Sorry. Is it is it this place that that bores you, or is it just you know boredom in in general? What? Well, what what I'm trying to say is is it what you're doing that bores you, or where and with whom you're doing it? I don't know. I guess both. Nobody leaves here without a fight. Give it the one to cut you to say goodnight. Yeah, I got lightning in a special place. I got a bronze on bronze on bring face. I got a problem talking to my counterpart. I got a cold stone right in my heart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Hey! Can I help you? Are you a model? No. Why? You look like Pamela Lee Anderson. You think so? Home. I'm standing at the bar. I'm thinking Pamela Lee Anderson's in Long Island. Oh my God! You don't understand. I seriously want to be an actress someday. That is to say, femininity versus masculinity. But that has changed drastically. You know, obviously. You know, structured on the notion that God is a masculine entity. Really? I just graduated from that NYU directing program. Yeah? Top of my class. Wow. So much of history and philosophy is, is, is written and recorded just to fill the, the inadequacies, the voids of, of man. I agree. You do? Yeah. Really? Marty calls me up, right? Scorsese. And he's sick, he can't shoot. So he asked me to fill in for him, but I can't do it because I'm in school. You know, they got a strict program now. Yeah. You are so different. No. No, no I mean it. Mm. It's just that I read a lot, that's all. Seriously, there are no guys out there that would care about any of this shit. But you do. Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, I do. I could see you in one of those big adventure movies. Yeah? Totally. You, you got that... That exciting, sexy, dangerous look. Thanks. Hey, that's what I see. Mm -hmm. Can we just get out of here? We just got here. What's the problem? There's people everywhere. Look at that girl right there. She's cute. What are you talking about? You got a girlfriend. I'm talking about for you, Steve. She's looking at you right now. She is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shut it is not. Shut it is. Stop it. Man. Stop it's it. it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Relax, man. Still relax, man. It's not Amy, okay? Steve, you want to go home and play cards? <laughs> yeah, whatever, Joe. <laughs> you are cool. No, I'm, I'm not cool. You know, you are going to make some girl a very lucky bride someday. Good luck, Howard. Yeah. Susan.
birth. But it's a hard decision, you know. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not like I hate my job or nothing. I'm a temp, and, you know, it's fun. You know, I get to meet a lot of new people. I'm a people person, right? <laughs> so, but I've been thinking, you know, I like to do other things. I hear you. Yeah? I know exactly what you're talking about. I may do it, though. You gotta do it. Definitely. You know, you gotta call me, though, if you get famous or anything. Yeah, yeah, you too. I will. You got a pen? Sure, yeah. Barrel? Yeah, you gotta move two on the pig, two matches on the pig. Can, Can I move the arrow? You can't touch the arrow. Where are you going? Oh, um, I'm just gonna walk a girl to her car. You did that well? Just gonna make sure she pays for her drink. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I haven't seen you do since high school. And you can ask the whole friggin' baseball team. What is up, Johnny, Denny, Stevie? Uh uh uh. How's it going, Adam? Oh, uh, nothing much, man. I'm just chilling like Gilligan. Working my ass off in the city, but hey, huh? Can't complain, though. No. What are you doing? Oh, I'm selling, man. I'm selling big time. I, amigo, am a selling fool. Be right back. I'm making cash money, though. I mean, I like, cleared, what, four grand last month. Fucking four. Bosses, they love me. Ching ching. Hey, what's going on, Phil? Hey, don't. Stevie, what's going on? You big fucking freak, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, seriously, I'm telling you, I work hard, though. I'm telling you, in four years, I'll be clearing, like, what, six digits? <laughs> right? I figure, hey, what the hell? Put my time in now. I live the way I want in four years. But, hey, you got to put the time in now. You can't just be sitting around your fat ass, right? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so what are you doing, Danny? What are you doing? I work over at Sal's place. <laughs> you hear this guy? Hey, Phil, you hear this guy? We go over to Sal's? <laughs> Come on, you mook. Seriously, what the fuck are you doing? I, I work over at Sal's Pizzeria, Adam. That, sh that shithole? Hey, do you need a job? But hey, any, any guys need jobs? Come in, come in close. Like my uncle, right? I got hooked up. He made a phone call for me. Boom, baby, I was in there. Next thing, hey, look, I'll tell you what. My man, just for you. Hey, I'm gonna make a phone call right now, just for you. Seven digits. Um, I'm, um, I'm gonna call first thing Monday morning. Put it on my to dial list, and baby, you are on. I'm gonna call first thing Monday morning. It's a little late right now. All right, until then, here, why don't you do this? Why don't you take one of my cards? You take my card. <laughs> my money hanging out like a big old pimp. <laughs> you take my card. Come on, take it. Come on. Hey, Stevie, don't be embarrassed. No, take my card. You might need it, baby. It's got my uh, cell phone, direct line, fax, pager. It's got all my seven digits. You leave me a message. I'm going to hook you up. Thanks, man. No problem, bro. I figure, hey. I'll be making uh, 70 a year by the end of the next year with over 100 in two years. Boom, no exaggerations. That's great. Hey, what's going on, you big old pimp? I'm coming to get you two and two, dog. Yeah. Seriously, Dennis Nolan, I'm going to get serious for one second. That shithole, what are you doing? Serving slices? Come on, baby, come on. What's that about? You must have done all right in school, right? Yeah, I did all right. <laughs> Dude, that job. Not doing anything for you. It's just paying the bills. You got to get a gig like me, brother. Right? Selling. That's where it's at. Ching ching. Pukau. <laughs> ching ching. Come on now. Until then, though. Why don't you just give me a slice? <laughs> hey, want to just give me a slice? <laughs> Adam, why don't you shut the fuck up? Pardon me, Phil? I never heard so much bullshit out of someone's mouth in my whole entire life. No one fucking cares, man. <laughs> Look at this fuck. Hey, Philip, fuck you, right? I'm begging you, all right? 
Please, get the fuck out of here. Either leave or shut your fucking mouth. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Man. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Yo, Adam, man, why don't you just go home? Oh, I, I, I see, huh? Oh, that's cool, man. Big man with all his friends around. It's cool right now, right? I'll tell you what, man. Philip, you and me, we're gonna party later, right? Count on it. Just sit down. Panda bears are tough. They may look cute, but they can kick ass. Yeah, you know what are tough are ostriches. Ostriches? A panda bear will fucking kill an ostrich. Oh my God, what are you talking about? Have you ever seen an ostrich charge? Those things are mental. What are you gonna do if an ostrich charges you? you grab it by its fucking neck. Are you shitting me? You can't grab its neck. Look at my head. Look. There's no way you're grabbing that. It'll dodge it and peck you in the eye. I don't know. I think I can grab it. You know what you do? You get down in a good stance. You wait for that thing as it charges. Then at the last second, you dodge it, you grab the fucking wing, and you tear it off. What? Pretty crazy, Steve. <laughs> yeah, what happened, John? Holy shit, look at that. Leave that. Oh. Oh, God, she is nice. You know what bums me out? That guy she's with looks just like Dennis's dad. That Mr. Nolan getting busy? That's him! That's Mr. Nolan! Looks nothing like him. <laughs> Maybe this takes place inside the trailer. You imagine his mother had cans like that? Yeah. He'd be here all the time. Funny. How many men do you think she's been with? This chick, friggin' thousand. She's definitely an amateur. How the fuck do you know, Iggy? You know, the way she does the, uh... I just know. Hey, Johnny. Was Beth your first? Johnny! Yo. Was Beth your first? Oh, Beth? I right, see, actually, that's the beauty of me and Beth. You know, it's the first time for both of us. Plus, you know, I don't really worry about who she's been with, because, uh, it's just me, that's it. And she doesn't ask me because she knows I've only been with her. Yeah, but you haven't, right? Yeah, yeah, technically. But, yeah, I wish it was only her. Those girls were just things that, that happened. You know, I just needed to do those things to know what it was like. But Bess actually, I guess you could say, is the first girl I made love with. Plus, I couldn't tell her that stuff anyway. She wouldn't understand. That's got to be the dumbest theory I ever fucking heard. What makes you think she's not doing the same thing? I'm not saying that. I, I don't think that. I'm just saying I'd lose my mind knowing she did. I mean, why would I want to start questioning her, you know? She'd probably tell me the truth and I couldn't handle it. So I don't. Best of one, okay? Okay. So, basically, your theory's just denying. All of a sudden, you're my fucking psychiatrist over here. I love Beth. You know, I'm gonna marry Beth. Why, why start harassing her, you know? She'd probably tell me she did, and then I'd get pissed at her. I'm fairly confident she loves me, so I choose to trust her. Fairly confident. That's good. What about you, Dan? You liked it with Saranka, right? Ah! Wasn't my first. What the fuck are you talking about? She wasn't my first. Well, who the fuck was? Jen Halpern. You banged Halpern? At the party. Wait a second. You never said anything about getting in. You just said you fooled around with her. It would have made that night a bigger deal than it already was. So I asked her not to say anything, and, and she didn't. You've been lying to me all these years? I don't believe it. I mean, how could you keep that a secret from me? I, I just did. What the hell is she doing right there? The jackhammer. <laughs> <laughs> Dan, you gotta stop ordering that cheap toilet paper. It's ripping me a new asshole. Talk to Sal. Look at this, dressed all in yellow. No, don't. Are 
Are you a model? No, I'm not a model. Because you look like... No, Phil, I'm not a model. <laughs> Do I know you? Yeah, Cheryl Tangeray. Yeah? Cheryl Tangeray from grade school. Cheryl Tangeray. Tangeray, Tangeray, her butt's as big as the Hudson Bay. Tangeray, Tangeray, here comes the big fat Chevrolet. Cheryl Tangeray. That was you? The big fat chick with the teeth? Yeah, we used to throw bean balls at you. Yeah, that was me. You look good. I know. Wait, wait, wait. You know, that was a long time ago. I'll tell you what. I'm gonna take you out to dinner, make up for the whole thing. You think so? Yeah. I don't. Bye, Dennis. Bye, Sarah. She wants me. Dennis, come here. Listen to me, very important, okay? Going away for the weekend, okay? We're going to Atlantic City. Got to meet Joey Carbone about some money stuff. How much money did we make for lunch? About four. Four? Beautiful, beautiful. Put this in the register, okay? Here are the keys, okay? I want you to close tonight, mm -hmm. okay? Open and close tomorrow night. Okay, and then just take Sunday off, you know. Don't forget to put the money in the safe, and everything should be fine. Is there anything else you need? I don't think so. Okay, good. Now listen, keep an eye on the place. Don't let Phil and that fucking moron Steve fuck the place up, okay? Yeah. That's all I ask. Good, come here. Come here. Ah, it's good to know I got somebody I can trust to look over the place. I gotta go. Hey, good luck. Thank you. Tell Joey not to lose the farm. Ah, uh, tell him. We ain't gonna stop it from happening. What do you read? This? <laughs> it's just a book on the philosophical teachings of the Byzantine Empire. Good summer reading. Don't. I know what you guys think. Oh, no, I know there. what you think about me with the books and the... But I gotta tell you, you know, I... I'm so excited about getting my masters, you know? I just, I love school. Uh, I don't know. I think Sal's is pretty stimulating, aren't you? Look, don't, don't get me wrong. I mean, I, I can honestly tell you that I have learned more over a slice and a, and a soda than I have in any classroom. I mean, that's not what it's about. I mean, the studying the books, the uh, classes, I mean, that doesn't make you smart. I mean, this, this, this is what it's about right here. I mean, you gotta be able to relate to the real world, you know? I mean, look like you, Dennis. I mean, look at you. Howard. Howard, if you, if you think I don't envy you, you're wrong. Look at me. <laughs> Do you think I'm happy? I, I've been thinking a lot lately about, about second chances, you know? Like, if you screw up, can you fix it? I mean, I, I know you can accept it, but, but does that make it right? Well, you know, I don't believe in regrets, so... Are you serious? I mean, you got, you got to live with what you've done, you know? I mean, you're your own person, so you got to be responsible. That's... I got regrets. Tons of them. Finish got that money for you, big Jamu. Shut up. Kind of nice with him not around, huh? Yeah, Sal. No shit. Oh man, Cody. Cody. Come on. Sal and Fazio on a crew. It's pathetic. Hello? 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 Huh? 
We like order? We are closed. We, we ran out the cheese. No cheese? Yeah, no cheese or no pizza. So, sorry. Uh, but uh, you might want to go to 14 of Minetto Lane later. We're not closed. We thought you were somebody else. Can I get you something? Dennis Nolan? You work at Lombardo's? When did you start that? About a month ago. That's cool. Oh, you too! <laughs> so, is this a couples thing? You guys graduate from college and then work at South? Well, actually, uh, I haven't graduated yet, so this is like a summer job for me, you know? Not, not a career choice or anything. I got you guys something. I got a cup of cheese left. You can throw some peppers on there. What? The money's gone. Huh? The envelope. It was right here. It's gone. Phil, no, where'd you put it in? That's not funny. I'm not kidding. I put it here during the code 88. It's not here anymore. Is everything all right? You didn't just see an envelope right here, did you? No. There was a guy here. There was a guy right here. Yeah, he just left. Who the hell's gonna give us eleven $1 hundred dollars? This is so bad. Relax. He needs every penny of that cash. Just hold on, all right? Let me think. Why didn't you call the cops? You don't understand. Sal can't find out about this. We left his money on the counter. We had a, a code 88 and we lost his money. How are we gonna explain to the cops about Phil's stupid code 88s? Hmm? Oh, we're gonna tell Sal that we don't want any girls we knew in high school to, to know we serve pizza for a living? You think he's gonna sympathize with that? We should have called the cops. Look, we can't call the cops. It's too late now anyway. It smells a scandal. Eleven hundred dollars. My parents don't have that kind of money lying around. All right. Well, then let's take care. Who has that kind of money, huh? Nobody. I can always call Adam. I heard he cleared four grand last month. Bye! You know, Phil, you're hilarious. That's funny, man. We just lost over a thousand dollars. Sal's thousand dollars. He could lose his business. Ooh, you don't think he's gonna call anybody in on us, do you, Dan? Do you understand he could lose his business, Phil? Do you get that? He could lose his business because we can't handle being fucking pizza boys. All we gotta do is, is unlock the doors, make some fucking pizzas, and put the money in the safe. And we can't even do that. Bro, just take it easy, all right? No, you don't get it, Phil. I mean, Adam's right. At least he's got a job he can handle. Should've... Should've closed the money out myself. I'm sorry I said that. I got it. <laughs> now we can raise the cash. We throw a party. Oh, my God. Phil, you shut up, Phil. No, no, we charge 10 bucks a head, we raise it easy. Come on, help. Remember Chris Tompkins' parties? That kid would make all kinds of cash when his parents left town. Look, we throw our money together, right? We buy some kegs, we charge 10 bucks a head, we'll get 100 people at least. Oh, come on, you're not really thinking about this, are you? Iggy, first of all, shut up. Second of all, we'll have it out back. No one ever gets inside. Third, we got kegs, we got live music. Music? Yeah, me and John will play. Come on, Phil, the Jimmy Mook band? What? All you could drink with live music, 10 bucks is nothing. Plus, all outdoors, no one ever gets inside. No mess, no nothing. Could do it tomorrow, Dan. Sounds good. All right, I'm gonna have to sit at the backyard with Dennis tomorrow, so Howard, you're gonna have to run the pizzeria. 
What the hell do I know about making pizzas? I'll go in early. I'll show you to make it. It's easy. Plus, you're a fucking genius. You'll do fine. You know what I think this is about, Phil? I think this is about you making up excuses so that you can have a party. That's what I think. You know what I think this is about, Phil? I think this is an excuse. Do you have a better idea? I didn't think so. I'll call Dev Friedman in the morning. The word will be out in no time. All right? Let's do it. You? Oh my God! Do you know that my horoscope said an old thing would be calling, and now you're calling? Uh, how's it going? It's going awesome. I, I was uh, I was just working out. Do you know that Calvin said I dress so New York, urban, suburban? <laughs> Can you believe that? I mean, a compliment from Calvin himself. That's great, Deb. Things are going so great at work. You know, fashion is just where I want to be because it's not just about clothes, Phil. It's about people. Because when people are happy on the outside, you know they're going to be happy on the inside. My goal is to make New York a happier place through fashion. Deb. Dennis is throwing a huge party today. It's gonna be sick. We got kegs, a band. I need you to call as many people as soon as possible. Tell them that it's 10 bucks a head and they gotta bring their own food for the barbecue. Are you gonna be there? Yeah, but I need you to call people right now. Oh, definitely, definitely. I'll get right on it. I'll call everyone. I cannot wait to see you. <laughs> All right, later, Deb. Hey, behave. I will. Lauren, it's me, Deb. <laughs> Phil just called and he wants to get back together. I'm going to a party with him today at Nolan's. Dennis Nolan, yeah, kegs, but BYO food. Hey, page me, tell everyone, tell your brother and his friends to call me later. Bye. <laughs> Okay with all this? Yeah, I'm fine. What's on your mind? Oh, just thinking. About what? Nothing. Come on, Dennis. You've been acting strange for a while now. What's, what's up? The other day, this girl came into the pizzeria, Kristen Barrett. You know her? No. I met her a long time ago. She, she went to St. Mary's. She's friends with Deb. I, I just wanted to talk to her, you know? But I, I didn't have the courage. I blew it with her a long time ago. I just wanted to see how everything was going, you know? Well, you should call her. She'd probably, you know, she'd probably really like to know how you feel. I couldn't. I'm gonna go inside and get some more stuff. I'll go. No, that's okay. Hey, Deb. Hey, it's Beth Taylor. How you doing? What? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm behaving. Uh, listen, um, there's somebody else that I want you to invite tonight.
is Amy. Amy, this is Steve. <laughs> yeah, well, you guys can talk later. I like your technique. Make yourself look like a total moron instead of a girl walks away. Nice. Yeah, whatever. Stevie. Hi, I was just thinking, why don't you and I go to a diner late night when you think? Deb, I told you, I'm here for the night, all right? I gotta hang. Oh, okay. Well, I was just thinking, but you know, if you're here for the duration, so am I. I'll be back, my Scooby. Did she just call you Scooby? Shut <laughs> up. And I'm saying, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm mean, pulling this guy's wrist to get his fucking watch up, right? And the cocksucker won't give it up. So I look at the guy and I go, hey, buddy! It's a robbery. Don't make it a fucking homicide. You know what I'm saying? What? Give me a fucking beer, would you? Come on, get out of here. Mike, I said you have to me and shake things to the Ellie boys in my crowd. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Kimmy! Oh, my God. Hey, Dan. I go fucking pow! Got the guy. Yo, Dennis. Thank you. Hey, Dennis, how you doing? So far. Bye bye. Where you been? I'm looking all over for you. Bro. Bro, you lose this fucking attitude or what? I'm fine, bro. I just hope this works. Come here. Come here. Good biscuits, bro. Beer's going down like water. Everybody's having a fucking good time. Enjoy yourself. Relax, all right? I'm trying. Move. Hey. Hey. How you doing? Fine. Thank you very much. You're welcome. There you go. Have your time. Yep. All right. Hey. How you doing? I wore those special things for you tonight. You did? Yeah. You're such a freak, and nobody knows it. I love that. Hmm. <laughs> How we doing? Hey. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. All right, let me know when we make it. I want to let Dennis know, all right? All right. We playing? Yeah. You play? All right. What's up? Have I got fun? something special planned for you. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Bundy. Bundy's away, man. He's a man of 10,000 dances. That's the uh, mechanical bull into the uh, dag do, and then the uh, scarecrow, and then uh, that's the, um, well, I don't know what the hell that is. It's gonna put someone's fucking eye out of it. Let's go tell him to stop. Tell him to stop. Okay. It was interesting. Really like, cool? That was real interesting. Okay, look, okay. you gotta watch the door for me. But okay? what do you mean? I haven't even been in there yet. Yeah, you're the man. Thank you very much. John, come okay. on. Look, I'll get you a drink, all right? Get me a beer, Thank please. How are you? Hi. Yeah. Look. How you doing, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good time. I'd like to dedicate our first song to our lovely host, Dennis Nolan. Love you, Den. It's about uh, loss and pain. Hope you like it. Couldn't be more than a year ago since I seen her last. How pretty she was. It's all in the past. Woo! 
Jimmy Mook! One, two, three, four! But I look to God above And I wonder how I lost my soccer ball Soccer ball, soccer ball I'll never kick it again Never kick it again Never kick it again So why didn't you talk to Amy, huh? Come on. And she gets so on. shy. Whatever. <laughs> Soccer ball. I was only seven, not too tall. I scored two goals before half time. I love that ball and it was mine. Guys, guys, I gotta get ten bucks from each one of you. What'd you say, monkey? See, I ain't paying you, dick. Now get the fuck out of my face before I smack your head against the pavement, you punk ass bitch. It's fine and dandy, but I need to get ten bucks. Yeah? Yeah? Well, you're a punk bitch. Brought it to school one day. Let's take care of business. We should, we should go talk to her. She was so damn cute, man. That's right there. Jimmy and the oh bitch man. You should have seen her. Wait, take care of that one next. But watch this one. Everyone saw us kissing in the hall. One in hers and the other. The other on my soccer ball. Jesus Christ, will you take it easy? It needs to be scrubbed, okay? You have to get the grime out of there. Besides, you don't know what was underneath that guy's fingernails. Howard, how much of the cash do we get back? About 50. Well, how'd you drop the box? I was bum-rushed, okay? What are we gonna do, then? Press charges against those assholes. What are you doing here? I want a slice of pizza. I'll pay for the pizza. You look rotten. Why is your number one pizza boy so sad this morning? I don't think you understand, Mr. P. I guess it's just that things didn't work out the way I hoped. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You do. Figures. I think 
think it's about wishing you did things differently, you know? I mean, by the time you realize your mistakes, you've already lost everything. How's your slice? Mm. It's <clears throat> not your usual pizza boy. Yeah, well, unless I come up with $1,100, that's going to be your last slice from here, Mr. P. Dennis, remember what happened to me in the story? Of course. You know what I learned? Everything is exactly the way it's supposed to be. Who the hell are you, Mr. P? Dennis. Have a nice day. Get a chance to talk to you. I get beat up, kind of. Yeah, I know. I saw. You okay? Yeah, yeah. Listen, can I come over and talk to you? Now? Well, are you sleeping? Well, not now, but it's kind of early, Dennis. I know. It's just I, I, I'd really like to talk to you. You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm fine. Look, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. No, it, it, it's okay. Is there any way you'll meet me? Yeah. You will? Sure. Come on over. Bye. Bye. Look, I, I know you're probably wondering what the hell you're doing here. Just a little bit. I wanted to apologize for what happened between us. Apologize for what? That night we were supposed to meet at Tompkins' party. Oh, that. Kristen, you gotta believe I was psyched up all week to see you. Yeah, it was a long time ago. I know what I think about it a lot. See, see this old guy, Mr. P. He, he hangs around our pizzeria all the time. He tells me his life story. He was this mariner of this big ship, and this bird led him out of this huge storm. And for no reason, he killed the bird. And that brought him all kinds of bad luck. But eventually, he got so low that he started to appreciate what he did have. And that saved him. Anyway. He always has to tell me the story. I should tell you about Jen Halpern. Jen Halpern? Do you really think it's that important? I've been wanting to tell you for so long. I really think we could have had something, you know? And I fucked it up. Sorry. Yeah, you did. God, I was pretty embarrassed walking around that party, asking for you. And everyone knew you were upstairs with that girl. You screwed up. Mm, you know what? It was a very long time ago. Thank you for apologizing. Do you ever wonder what would have happened if I didn't mess it up? No, not really. You know? I mean, I mean, maybe we were really supposed to meet that night and, 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 and start something. Or maybe we weren't supposed to. But, but that's what I think about. I mean, is it possible to, to just miss your destiny? Oh, God. <laughs> Dennis, I doubt it was destiny. It, it was a high school party. Look, I know this is crazy. But do you think maybe Dennis, we... Dennis, it 
start again because Dennis, I... Dennis, listen to me. What happened then? It's been very much forgotten. So do you think we could try again? I don't think so, Dennis. Are you sure? Because Dennis, I'm so... I'm engaged. What? <laughs> engaged. I'm sorry. That's great. Are you okay? You know, um, it feels better to to know that that you know that that I know now and that what I did was a shitty thing to do. That's a lot of I knows. I know. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry I, I dragged you out here. Just, no, it's, I really have to go talk to somebody else. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dennis, wait. Take care of yourself. Sal, I know you're gonna... Come here. Come here. Is this some kind of joke or something? No, Sal, it's not a joke. Hey, hey, wait. I trust you because I think of you as a smart kid. Okay, too smart to do stupid things. And too smart to fuck with me. I wouldn't hey, You don't leave a thousand dollars of my money laying on the counter. No. I... What, are you out of your mind? Pizza money. Pizza money? What if somebody came by and read that? Jesus Christ. Wise up, huh? I'm sorry. Sorry? You're sorry? Here, put it in the safe, sorry. has happened to me these past couple of days. I made some mistakes. And I need to tell you about it. I wonder how 
Shot rock. My foot slid. 